Hello and welcome to Couch Watchers, a weekly watch party podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Joel Martinez, joined as always by Daniel Arroyo. Daniel, buddy, what's up? Hey, 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 hey,
Jesus. What uh let's let's start with our first game here, Daniel. Okay. What do you think this movie costs to make? Hmm. Let's see. Get DreamWorks me. Animation. DreamWorks Animation. When did this come out? This came out in 2007. 2007. DreamWorks Animation. It looks pretty clean. Jerry Seinfeld is the main character. I'm going to say. I'll give you a hint. Hold on. It is higher than one million, but lower than one billion. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say this movie costs $5 million to make. $5 million to make? You know, no. Is sorry. that your final answer? Sorry. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's okay. $500 million to make. $500 hundred million dollars yes is that your final answer Chris? okay Jeez. well the move the budget of this movie was in fact five million dollars no way well if you add 145 million to it yeah that's that's how much it costs. <laughs> <laughs> so yes 150 million uh was the budget for this all right. Animation's expensive. It is very much is. Um, that's, that's why I wouldn't have been surprised if it was five hundred million dollars. That's crazy. I think maybe Avengers. I think Endgame might have been the most expensive. I can't say for sure. Maybe it was Avatar. Who knows? Um, but I think they top out like around three hundred or two hundred and something. You know, I'm fucking look it up. Why? Why am I guessing here? Like an idiot, I can just use Google. Mm hmm. Let's see highest oh my god that was the same character model what the fuck <laughs> the person behind behind him oh. and the tour guide the same character model just different clothes okay so the do you want to guess what the movie is what the most expensive movie is i'm sorry what want to guess what the most expensive movie is in regards to like ever or <laughs> Yeah, oh, what was the most expensive movie to make? No, no. Most ever. expensive movie ever to make? Yeah. Um. Oh, I have to guess the movie. Fuck. Fuck. I'm gonna say most expensive movie to make. I mean, it had to be Endgame, right? No. I mean. It had to have been really expensive, but fuck. yeah, it has to have been anything, awesome. right? Jesus Christ. Honestly, this wow. this uh civilization is super fucking impressive. They they do they do a lot. Yeah. Like, Their fucking technology alone just revolves around imagine what they could do if they started involving other things. Oh petroleum. They'd be unstoppable. Oh, that's made of honey. That's crazy. So, do you want do you want to know what it was? Yeah. The, the number one most expensive movie was Pirates of the Caribbean. The Caribbean on Stranger Tides. Wow. Right. Right. How? I'm not expecting that. I don't fucking know. It cost on Stranger uh, Tides three hundred seventy nine. Million dollars? dollars? Yeah, that is the most expensive budget. And they uh, made a movie that, a thousand times better with Endgame? Okay, and below Pirates uh -huh. is Avengers Age of Ultron at 365. Wow. And then it's Endgame. Endgame wow. is third. That was surprising. Yeah. Good God. Also, Pirates of the Car uh, Caribbean is tied with uh, number five with Justice League. Which the fact that two Pirates of the Caribbean uh, movies are on here is ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. Surprising. Jesus. Very surprising. Literally the same character model, just 
slight changes. What saves money? Don't worry about it. <laughs> imagine <laughs> imagine if we traded out um Seinfeld with uh Nicolas Cage in this movie. Oh my god. I would fucking love Nicolas Cage. This movie would be intense with him. <laughs> well, I mean he wasn't the crudes and he wasn't crazy mm-hmm. i mean he was a pretty intense in that movie was he he was what? fine i guess i love his acting it's a lot but i think that's the point and it works for me mostly <laughs> <laughs> it's always enjoyable that's for sure do you think uh, they have right. fer- uh, yes go ahead sorry i was gonna say do you think they have fermented honey in this movie in this civilization they must, right? Like, Probably make some mead. Yeah. Like, how do you think they get drunk, you know? They gotta get drunk. With with mead? You think his glasses stick onto his face with honey? Sorry, what? Do they use honey? I think. Uh, um, How does that work? Crazy. Wait, do why did they? Why can't they just fly everywhere? Why do they need vehicles? Good fucking point, Daniel. Good fucking point. You know what? Maybe they're not so smart. This seems stupid. <laughs> now they're polluting their environment with their vehicles <laughs> when they could just be flying everywhere. Wait, what if it's just evaporated honey that goes back into the ecosystem? Oh, they're they're brilliant. I take it back. Fucking brilliant. They're, so they're just the cars are just flex. They're just flexing. <laughs> That's it. It's just a massive flex. It's like, yeah, we don't need cars because we have wings. Cars actually clean the environment. Yeah. <laughs> it, it helps with honey reproduction. I don't know if this is coming through on the mic, but there's, as of yesterday, there's somebody who's been somewhere close by, who's I think they're starting to learn how to play, like a trumpet or something. Because mm-hmm. I I hear what sounds like someone struggling to blow air through a horn, but they don't seem very dedicated. Because mm. it like the, I don't hear any consistent noises that sound musical. Mm-hmm. just a lot of struggling but it's like in short bursts so i hear like a couple a couple honks and then silence for like 20 minutes <laughs> and then i hear it again and silence for an hour interesting doesn't really seem like they're making any progress <laughs> Thank you. I love how he just put X's on everything. Is this Patches O'Houlihan? I think it just might be. What's this guy's name? Patches O'Houlihan. Uh <laughs> <laughs> or Zed. <laughs> From Men in Black. When are we going to watch Men in Black, Joel? Uh, maybe never. Ah, you fucking <laughs> the, what is that B's name, man? I, can't, I need to look it up. I don't fucking know. Just look up like Sergeant B. That it is. It is? Rip Torn. Oh. Elmore Rawl Rip Torn. Junior.
How much do you think this movie <laughs> grossed? Oh, right. Um, oh, Jesus. Um, uh, how much was the budget? 150? Yeah. This movie got 300 million dollars in the box office. Is that your is that your final answer? Yeah, it is my once and final answer. All right, the end, man. End this of the movie beginning. grows 293.6 million, so you pretty much were uh, on the money. Yeah, if you round up, you know. I'm counting it, man, because I was just about to ask, because I was wondering when the last time we were closer and we got it on the money was, because I don't think we ever have. And I sure as hell never have. Yeah, I guess I didn't think about that, huh? What? Just so fucking yellow in the colony. Oh yeah. How does he know what a kite is? Is he not terrified right now? I don't know, man. I feel like if all I saw was yellow and then I saw every other color, I'd be I'd probably be crying for one. It's like, you know, when you see those people who get the the glasses to help with color blindness uh-huh. or whatever it is. Um, and they're able to see the colors, right? And they start crying. Mm-hmm. Danny, I'm going to need some stronger responses from you just, just to know that you're there. I'm sorry. I'm so just... I don't feel so fucking lonely. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at the roses that aren't roses. Oh my god. It's pretty hot. (laughs) (laughs) What? Is that not taught in school? (laughs) Like, do only these, is this privileged information? I guess so. You just got to trust the government, apparently. Damn, Ubisoft's got nothing on that water. Oh, whoa. (laughs) But it's Flash. He's me on the map. (laughs) Oh no, the tennis balls. They're not even yellow. (laughs) Do you think these bees have ambition to like take over? (laughs) To to take over the the world? Yeah. Again, look at how advanced they are. Comparatively, we're stupid. They got nectar collectors. They got those scanners. How do you know? um... They've They've learned how to harness the power of honey. We stand no chance. <laughs> we don't, man. Honey's a renewable <laughs> resource. We're over here still stuck on fucking fossil fuels. On fossil fuels and shit. Oh, do you think they can cook with the honey though, like gas? <laughs> Jesus. I don't... That's a good question. I mean, they must. If they're able to use Olive. it as a fuel source, then surely they can use it to burn stuff. They got it, right? <laughs> got a little... Oh, God. Burn. Wait, did he see him on the tennis ball or was that just a wild hit? I don't know. Oh, this reminded me of Turbo. Oh, the snail movie? Yeah. It's a pretty rad movie. I totally I've forgot that Ryan it. Reynolds' voice is in. Oh, definitely watching it now. Turbo's a dope movie. Oh, they Netflix? gotta get that checked. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh my god, it's a bee! (laughs) 
Oh shit. <laughs> oh, bad move, dog. <laughs> Oh my god, he blinked. Wouldn't open a window. Should have done that from the beginning. What the fuck? Bullshit. How how is that grandma's eyesight that fucking good? See that the bee blinked. <laughs> Do bees even have eyelids? How does that grandma have those kind of reaction times? <laughs> oh good god. Imagine if rain was the size of boulders. <laughs> and moving at like 100 miles an hour. <laughs> Ooh. When's the, la- when's the last time you uh, were in a water balloon fight? Oh, man. That has to be like... Like 10 years ago. 10 years? Mm-hmm. Every time I get tired, I just want to chuck some water balloons. Every time it gets hot, I just want to chug some water balloons. Get chug? It. You feel me? I feel you. See, I'll throw them at your face, and you just drink the water. <laughs> Careful with the plastic. Don't choke. Right? It's like those uh, those uh, milk bags that we used to get for <laughs> for for lunch at school. You just bite a pe- <laughs> bite a corner and just suck it out. <laughs> I miss those milk bags, man. But, you know, plastic, not great for the environment. No, fuck plastic. Plastic can eat a dick. Mm-hmm. Am I allowed to say that on the show? Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, fuck. I fuck with some guac. Oh, damn it. Daniel, this is my weakness. <sighs> Bees and guac? No, just, just guac. Some chips and guac. I knew I should have made some yesterday. I should have fucking made some yesterday. I'm gonna make um chili re- uh, chili rellenos tomorrow. Speaking of chili rellenos, so I've been watching close enough on HBO, which is uh JG Quintel's new cartoon. Mm-hmm. And it's pretty good. I don't know if it's only eight episodes so far, if it's only an eight episode season, but um that's how many are on it, and I would recommend it. So, what is what does that have to do with Chile Reno? Don't you remember the Chile Reno episode? <laughs> no. Well, well, I think with uh, fuck. What are their names again? Shit. The dude with the ghost. Uh, regular um, show. Oh yeah, the Chile Reno episode of regular show. Today. Yeah, I didn't there, there we go. Right <laughs> yes, that helps a lot more. Muscle <laughs> man, right? Muscle man, yeah. Muscle man. I think he he eats the. I'm, I'm just gonna look it up right now. <laughs> Chile Reynos. I can't I remember his voice. I can't remember his voice. I just know it's dumb. It was kind of like this or something. Yeah, yeah, it was. Oh, and and um, fuck, what's his name? Fives or high fives? High five, ghost. Ah, yeah. I just remembered. <laughs> no help at all. First try. Okay, that was just dumb. <laughs> I feel like if they made a live action movie of this, this would be uh, Alison Brie. <laughs> That's totally Alison Brie. And still Jerry Seinfeld as the B. But even <laughs> even more defined you know, facial features. I, it, just, it, just, it just clicks with me that he's wearing chucks. Is he? I think, I think that's pretty cool. He's wearing shoes? That's adorable. <laughs> you like jazz? <laughs> <laughs> you owe me a fucking dining set. <laughs> is it? Why is he <laughs> so chill about this? I mean, that's a logical... To- uh, Conclusion. Jump. Yeah, logical conclusion. I must be asleep because this is fucking weird. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, that was intense. I don't even know. <laughs> she's, I think she's having an appropriate response. Uh, no, <laughs> no. Okay, okay. It, it turned pretty quickly, but it felt honest for a second. Yeah. <laughs> Guess she's fucking offering it coffee. <laughs> she sounds like she's gonna lose her fucking mind any second. Oh. Sure, he did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Daniel, let's play a fucking how much bacon. <laughs> okay. Let's see how much bacon is in this movie. All right, let's see. We got some good choices here. We got, see, we got Jerry Seinfeld, right? Matthew Broderick, Patrick Warburton, John Goodman, Chris Rock. We got, we got good choices here. Fucking John Feel Goodman. Confident. Have I done Chris Did Rock? I miss yet? John Goodman. There's Oprah Winfrey as well. I'm gonna go. Larry King. Oh my god, because be Larry King. So like Chris Rock or John Goodman are my ways in. Maybe even Renee Zellweger. Okay, so we're connecting Kevin Kevin Bacon to the B movie. Yeah. Oh no, Kevin Bacon to whoever. A, a person in the B movie. A okay. person in the B movie. Yeah. Jay, I mean, I feel like the the lead. Usually, if we want to put rules on it, we can force it ourselves to do the lead. But I think it'd be better if we just had our pick with the the cast. So it's more mm. about creativity than a race against time. Kevin, uh, not Costner, Bacon. I keep forgetting that he's in Flat Miners. Oh yeah. And then I've not seen. Wait, that, that's seen the the original one, right? The original one, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen either one. I was only interested in the remake because of, uh... I already got mine. You ready? Oh, are you serious? Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. No, it was I'm real ready. fucking easy. It was real fucking easy. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, okay. Uh... Hey, John DiMaggio. I don't want to give up because that's an automatic six, and I have a good, I have a good lead right now. If I can just, ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> fucking Sting is in this movie. Of course, Sting's in this fucking movie. Since you got it so fast, it's stressing me out now. I'll live. Come putting pressure. Maybe. Oh God. Why are they stretching that honey though? Like taffy, you know? Like what are they making out of it? Clothes? Are there clothes honey? Did they figure out how to make honey out of clothes? I mean, I'm assuming everything's made out of honey. Is that candy corn honey? Is Are the floors honey? Are the buildings honey? Are they honey? It's all honey, baby. Is is every is this the cake thing, but with honey? Oh my god! I hate that you got it so fast. <laughs> I hate that you got it so fast so much. Ah, uh, what is it? Oh, you want you want me to? No, you want it if now? You tell me. I don't want a handout. No, no. It's so easy, man. It is one degree of Kevin Bacon. That's why I don't want you to tell me. Because then I'll, I'll find it. And with such a big cast, I mean... 
who the fuck could you have chosen? <laughs> I mean, I actually haven't looked at Jerry Seinfeld, so maybe he's one. <laughs> a crumb? That was a crumb? <laughs> that was the size of a fucking cantaloupe. Why are their wings so small? (laughs) Did they purposely give the female bees, which shouldn't exist in this colony? Bigger thoraxes? I don't know, dude. <laughs> oh, God. Do you think he could just drink it all? Yes. Well, that reminds me of the jello scene from um, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. So, when do we... Oh! Murder. Yeah. Let's just... Just laugh it off. So, when do we get to acknowledge the total wrongness of this... Of this movie. Of their relationship? Well, yes. We can do it now. Okay, so... <laughs> the fucking bestiality... <laughs> of this movie is, is strong. Oh, God. And the murder. Why is he not sticky? <laughs> I do not want to give up. I do that was not want totally to give up. a Jewish. I do not joke. want to give up. That, that really fucks me. But I don't. I just can't connect any of this shit. My brain's is not fucking working right now. <laughs> uh, we can't fly everywhere. Fuck you, guy. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, uh, no, I'd die. Who is this? Renee Zellweger, right? Yeah. (laughs) God. Really, Yoda. All right, this is honestly stressing me out. <laughs> we don't like, have a to lot. play. We don't have to play the game, Joel. You we can play the game. To. It just means I I lose this this uh-huh. round terribly. Terribly. I get an automatic fucking six, Daniel. <laughs> There's no recovering from that. <laughs> this. <laughs> Fuck it. What what was yours? What was yours? 
<laughs> so Kevin Bacon, uh-huh. right? Uh huh. Did an interview on no. Larry King. Now go fuck yourself. Where I knew you were gonna pull that. Shit. Larry King voices himself as B. Larry King in the B movie. So suck it. Oh, that counts. <laughs> And I hate you for it. <laughs> uh, that's my fault. I, I didn't. I didn't. I guess I don't know what was wrong with me. That's upsetting. Wait, did he? I hate myself. <sighs> I clearly like everybody else except him. I just said no, nah, not Larry King. It's not. That's my own fucking fault. Uh huh. Yeah. Why is his stinger so long? God. Did he, like, paint his ass black? Oh, yeah. Boop. Dead. Oh my god, his reaction time is insane. You know, you, you technically have a fucking score of zero today, by which I mean, because you got it in one go, and you got the speed bonus that subtracts one, you have zero. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> we by the end of this, we have to get the lowest amount. We have to have the smallest number. So right. you have nothing adding to your overall score. So I have zero. Right now you have which zero is, for this week. Which a total is the of smallest four. number. Yes. A total okay. of four. I have six this week. A total of eight. Nice. Oh, I remember who he is now. <laughs> the fucking mosquito. <laughs> oh god Oh, man, that reminds me. I forgot to get my water bottle. Oh, sucks for you. Oh, God. What is that? A cockroach? Oh, man. Remember when cars had radio antennas sticking out? They don't anymore? No? Never noticed. <laughs> Do you see a Tesla with a fucking How radio? Tables antenna? have turned, Daniel. You have I have twice as much as you. This is annoying. <laughs> I only have myself to blame. Hmm. <laughs> Mosquito. What the fuck? But I thought he wanted moose blood, not just a fucking lifetime supply of human blood. Gotta get back at the man somehow. I mean, that's what West Nile virus is for, but fuck. <laughs> why are you... Why are you making fun of bees, bruh? Where did I leave my phone? Uh... 
Where the fuck did I leave my phone? I guess it wouldn't matter. We need <clears throat> the money. I love how the, the beekeeper the beekeepers are the bad guys in this. That's messed up, dude. Fuck you. Would you hold would you hold the queen in your hands? Obviously if it wasn't fucking awful, but you have you seen uh like when someone holds uh, a queen and they just get sworn by bees. No. That sounds fucking terrifying. Yeah. Like, absolutely terrifying. Like, I see people that just, like, like scoop up a bunch of bees just to have them in their hand. And then they, like, flick them off and shit. And the oh, bees are just no. chill. <laughs> <laughs> Why they look right. so evil? <laughs> it's just fucking honey. Did he develop that film with with honey? <laughs> Whoa! Wait, are they brothers? I think. Why is he? <laughs> Why is he doing the makeout thing in the back? I thought they were just like best friends. Oh, God. <laughs> I remember that. No They're reason. Just shiny. In the face. In the balls? With the heart. It's the heart. It's the heart. You go after the heart. <laughs> A lot of callbacks to previous episodes. <laughs> Oh shit! I forgot the hell's the think... the hey B Larry King. What's there up? There you go. His microphone is honey. Fuck B Columbus. Well, I don't know. Maybe he's he's fine. Maybe B. Columbus is cool, actually. You know, I don't know. I don't know anything about B. History, to be honest. I skipped that class. <laughs> I wonder what B. Jesus was like. He was turning water into meat instead of wine. Yeah. <laughs> 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 God, this movie's ridiculous, but it's <laughs> it's fun. Like it's never, it never takes itself seriously. It's always aware of how dumb it is, and I love yeah. it. What's his name again? Patrick Warburton. All right. Crying. Right. <laughs> Why is it because it's intelligent? 
How is this not the bigger fucking thing here? This bee is intelligent. They are an intelligent fucking society. Why is this not a fucking... Oh, God. Oh, because sugar is a competition because honey is a sweetener. I get it. Wow. It's fucked up. Ha. Huh. God. I think I think he expects a lot out of us. I think so too. Like too much. I've learned, you know, I always held hope and, you know, try to keep a positive outlook, but I've learned recently how dumb people are. Yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and say, sorry, boss. This is, this just, <laughs> it's not plausible. I this lost it's all its believ- believability now. We're in it for the memes. So dude. unlikely. That's it. That's the only reason this is getting any fucking traction. We're in it for the memes. Do you think anything with antennae is like low key connected? What? Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Maybe if they're all on the same frequency. Bumbleton. Jesus. How many? That must be. Oh, God. Thousands of bees. For real. Tens of thousands. Did did all bees of the world agree to this? Like he can't be that loud. Oh, John Goodman, here you are. Okay. Go on. Who the fuck is this guy? Someone who understands how dumb people are. He's playing them. Wow. Can't even be mad. (laughs) It's just so amusing. I'm not mad at him. I'm mad I'm mad at the people. I'm not mad at him for exploiting dumb people. I'm mad at the dumb people for being dumb. I guess. They've literally used honey for everything. Mm-hmm. You're stripping them of their clothes, of their beds, of their TVs, their, their fuel, their cameras, their spoons. Fucking makes a good point. Fucking got him. Oh, yeah. damn. You know what? Maybe this will turn out good for him. Are they? When was the last time you hugged one? 
Build a bear. Oh god. <laughs> right there next to him. <laughs> the bear just calms <laughs> down. He's on it. Real Patrick Harris? Oh shit, Sting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> my god I recognize him but I can't pin him right now Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this guy. Hey, hey, hey. Do you want to die right now, Ray Liotta? Because you can die right now. <laughs> What up, Doc? So are they dating? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is he eating meat? I don't know. I was thinking, I was wondering if it was like chocolate or gummy bear or something. Whoa, what happened to that big ass piece of whatever the fuck that was? Where's Fuzz? Is he doing that on purpose? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's got to be pretty scary. The <clears throat> the giant mountain of water in front of him? Yeah, because I mean, he's pretty small. Surely the surface tension is strong enough to give him a challenge, right? I, I'd assume or so. The, the hydrogen bonds. You know, it's those science words. You know what I'm trying to get at. Oh, fuck. Seriously doing this right now? <laughs> oh, lethal fuck. That's a setting on my bidet. <laughs> At least he's honest, you know. That's murder, dude. <clears throat> yeah, not only that, but he's a 
He's fighting a very big case against humanity right now. That's a fucking... That's definitely going to be a big news story. Yeah, people suck. Hey, me neither. That's not true, actually. No, that is true. I don't eat honey. I like I honey. Maple syrup. Honey's I like nice. Maple syrup. I like honey sticks. But like real maple nice. syrup. You gotta go tap a tree or something? Like, what do you mean real maple syrup? Yeah, I'll go stab a tree. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, shit. <laughs> I fucking hate the aftertaste of artificial sweeteners. Yeah. Do you like honey? Yeah. What? <laughs> you know, there's a bee in, I think in like South America, maybe, or central america that um <laughs> has a that has a that produces sour honey whoa yeah it's a lot like thinner uh-huh. than normal honey is and it's sour it's because of the the bees that they pollinate or whatever interesting i know i want to taste it so bad so do i i feel like it'd be gross it's like it'd be tasty I love sour stuff. That woman. Is she wearing the same dress? Hey, don't fucking judge. (laughs) Whoa. How dare you? Whoa. That's that's not even that's re- your honor relevance. He did that at the cost of his life, you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead now. Good God. Of course they make it a fucking like southern voice fucking <laughs> white guy for this. This got cake. Ass. It's probably sweaty by now. Does he have an artificial stinger now? Shit, my battery's dying. Oh my god. On the face. Honey is lifeblood? <laughs> Jesus, they really need honey for everything. Oh God! I saw some lettuce on it. Oh, celery. <laughs> okay, it is Matthew Broderick. <laughs> oh, that's who he voices. I fucking love Matthew Broderick. I just realized he's got a honey ivy, doesn't he? Yeah. The blood honey too. Were you not listening to me, Joel? I said my 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 laptop's gonna die, and I went to go fix that problem. <sighs> I was gone. I'm sorry. It's fine. 
Bees don't smoke. He he almost died. Yeah. What? All right. See, people are dumb. <laughs> wow, the fucking neck brace. Oh, that's bad. That's badass. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Boogs. <laughs> oh, good God. You know, actually, it's kind of fun. <laughs> a walker? Like, if it wasn't so... Baby-like? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you want some flames, Joel? <laughs> That'd be dope, yeah. That's a, that's a start, for sure. Oh, I'll show you. <laughs> oh shit it rhymes ah uh, it's a done deal now <clears throat> <laughs> My sweat is rough, Lauren. But, but how? Have bees been around for twenty-seven million years? You know, that's a good question. <clears throat> A hundred and twenty million years ago, they first appeared. There you go. That's your answer. The more you know. The fucking poop. Oh no! <laughs> okay, that's no longer funny, actually. That's too real. Yeah. What? But why are they giving the honey to existing colonies? I mean, because they have all those other bees that they took, right? Uh -huh. So why not just give those bees a proper colony that doesn't get gassed and just give those the bees, give them the honey? So that guy's dead, right? Super dead. 
Yeah, you know, I feel like they should just be like, look, the honey you guys have now, use it. But once once that honey's gone, then that's it. That's all you guys Ooh, got. Honey's gonna get expensive. Oh yeah. Nobody has a job anymore. Oof. The flowers need honey too, guys. So, like, this is dumb. Because, again, well, you know what? No. It's because of the poor education system in bee society, okay? If all bees knew the importance of pollen and pollinization instead of just a privileged few, then maybe they would understand the balance of nature, okay? And the ramifications of not doing shit. Mm -hmm. So really, it's the bees' own fault. Yeah, it's well, like, kind of makes you wonder what they do teach them, you know? I don't know how I never knew that Matthew Broderick was in this movie. I don't know. He doesn't have like a striking voice, you know? I mean, I guess in comparison to Jerry Seinfeld. Or Patrick not, Warburton. Or yeah. Chris Rock. It's not as n noticeable. But like if you're a fan of Matthew Broderick, you're going to hear it. Yeah. He has a very sweet voice. He does. Oh man, I it's forgot about fall. the word wilting. It's the fall time. It's fine. Oh, now you're gonna give him shit about it? The easy SAT test. You think this is happening worldwide? Hell yeah. The, this is the bees of the world suing humans. Of course, it's happening worldwide. So, is that what that was? The, the lawsuit? Yeah. Yeah. He, re he was representing the bees of the world. Who the fuck has the authority to enforce it? That's everywhere? what I said. <laughs> oh, I missed that bit. <laughs> That's why I just stay shut. Oh, they are little chucks. Yeah. What, you think I'm lying to you? Maybe, man. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. Like, not everything would be great, but... The Rose Bowl. Um, yeah, not everything would be fantastic, but that doesn't mean that... They would stop, gr like, growing or anything, right? Um, like the wind will help with pollination. You know, I didn't study for this test. I got, I got to say, <laughs> I was gonna hope I was, I would skate by with a C. <laughs> Plus, humans can fucking pollinate plants too. Hey, you were part of that problem. You can't. You don't have the right to be angry. Ooh. 
Whoa, Repollination Nation. No, it's real. You can just fly in. For real. Or do you think you can have bee sensors now? Oh, maybe. The fuck is the princess in the pea? Just hospitalize oh somebody. Oh my god. She could have been <laughs> extremely hurt. Yeah. She definitely broke a leg. Or fucking cracked her skull open. Fracture her spine for sure, I think. <laughs> JFK <laughs> What was the time frame on this? I don't know It's gotta be fucking weeks right? It has to be Cause a lot of these are Dead then like what the fuck yeah have you not seen the news I feel like it'd be kind of impossible to miss the news that bees are sentient and that yeah. honey's illegal now. That seems like a poor place to put the life raft button. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one be flying the plane the bee <laughs> right see they know Again, I think it's hard to avoid. Bees are sentient. How is this not? How does that not just permeate throughout all society? There's no way you can <laughs> avoid that fact now. Everyone has to be talking about it. <laughs> is that whipped honey? Or honey whiz? Honey whiz? Whipped honey. I want both now. And how do you like honey? Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> Solitaire. <laughs> Black and yellow. Mm. 
<laughs> Hands back on the fucking wheel. Yeah, dude, what the hell? Is this, are they all going to be the whole of that? Are they going to pull a Superman? Cut to the end of the movie. Terrifying news tonight as we report every bee in the world <laughs> has died due to lightning strike. <laughs> or getting, you know, sucked into the propellers. <laughs> sucked into a turbine, yeah. Engines, yeah. Or smeared across the ground as they crash under it. Oof. This is assault. <laughs> oh, God, so many bees on your left. Okay, what would it take? How many bees would it take to lift the <laughs> to lift this airplane? That's my question now. Uh, is there a, is there looks, a three on this? Looks like about 10,000. <laughs> Okay, so it would take about 7 billion bees to lift one fully loaded 747. This has been asked? <laughs> yes! <laughs> you think I'm the first person to question that? I'm not. I'm not unique. Oh, I see. They're signaling. Everybody's blind. That's pretty fucking cool. That is pretty fucking cool. Does she even know how to cut the engines? Oh my god. Okay. Come on, Vanessa. Wait, that's her name, right? Yeah. So many dead bees. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Did they, did they not feel anything? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> he taught you how to pollinate. He is now king of the bees. For the first time ever, there is a, a, a there king is bee. There's no way that's true. Sorry, what was that? I said, for the first time ever, there's a king bee. <laughs> you know, do we ever see the queen? No. What? Except keychain. Yeah. Is that guys? I'm sorry. It turns out I'm allergic to leather. <laughs> it just dies.
Is this Here Comes the Sun? Yeah. Wait, how much pollen and nectar do cut flowers have? Um, plenty. Enough. I, I... I mean, you can Google that one if you want. <laughs> Maybe nah. someone has asked that question too. <laughs> Every question you've ever had about the B movie. I would question how it's so instant, but these beast technology is clearly beyond our time. Clearly. And our understanding. Oh, man. Imagine how many people are having just the worst allergic the worst reactions allergies. right now. <laughs> like, people probably breaking out in fucking hives and shit. Having asthma attacks. I guess hummingbird must also pollinate, right? No, they just drink nectar, I think. But does their do their faces get close enough to Catch get pollen? Because if, if they so. get pollen on their faces, then they're gonna you know spread that around to other flowers. Mm-hmm. So all animals definitely talk then. Oh, yeah, they're all sentient, apparently. Why has no one spoken up? Why was B- B- Barry the first one? Uh, I don't know. Humans are fucking killing everything on the planet and decimating everything, so. I guess bees do have the numbers and the technology. It always comes back to the technology. Fucking A, there's nine and a half minutes of credits. That's insane. What the fuck? Well, okay, whatever. <laughs> See, I wasn't too bad, Daniel. To I completely forgot to do uh, trivia. <laughs> <laughs> it I was only pretty gave, bad. Uh, Paul Rudd one. It was pretty bad, and you didn't even do your degree of Kevin Bacon. Uh, it just stressed me out that you got it so fast. I'm like, and I was trying to, after that, I was just focused on trying to get it and trying to find what you got, but I cut it, and I just kept going on. I'm like, I can't just be doing this game in silence this whole time so I, I need to either find something or give up so you just doing the towel it was, huh? stre- it was legit stressing me out like, <laughs> I'm like I can't there's just too much pressure right now well you did this to yourself I don't even I, I don't even want to let you have that one because that's bullshit <laughs> talk show up. like so what are we going to connect everybody are we going to connect right? everybody to fucking tonight show now is that it uh, if fucking they're in a movie with fucking who's in charge of the Tonight Show? Fallon. If they're in a movie with Fallon, then maybe. Well, whatever. I'll give it to you this time, but we <laughs> we cannot fall on them. Cause that's that's an easy one. That's a given. Um. All right, well, thank you for watching along with us. Hopefully, you like this movie because I think it's actually not terrible. <laughs> that was fun. I don't know. I don't know. You were so averse to watch this movie. Do you regret I, it? 
No, I guess not. Do you did you enjoy yourself? It was intriguing. I still don't it's understand a lot movie. of it. It's an enjoyable movie. I have a lot of questions. It's not today. groundbreaking. I, I had a lot of questions too. <laughs> and I had some of mine answered. Seven billion bees it would take to lift the seven forty seven. Fully loaded. Seven billion bees. It's impressive. All right. Thanks, right, well, join us next time when we watch The Passion of Christ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the only natural like, next <laughs> step from the B movie. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye, Bye Daniel. <laughs> love you, dude. Bye. I love you, Daniel. <coughs> Daniel, I love you. Bees. <laughs>